we have a new power supply to install. This is the brand new MSI Meg AI 1300P and it's PCI Gen 5.0. So it's the new standard with the ATX 3.0 standards. Basically, if you have any new 40 series GPU, this is the type of thing that you want and it's 1300 watts. So the system that I have back here with a 7950X, RTX 4090, 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM. Yeah, this is going to more than take care of it. So let's open this up. I already did a previous unboxing of this. So definitely check out that video. But what we need are key cables. So first off, yeah, this is one of the best looking power supplies that I've ever seen. I just love these like gold or bronze accents, copper accents, I don't know what you want to call them. But here, this is actually where the, the new standard is. So if you have a 40 series GPU, this is exactly where that plugs into. It comes with a lot of cables. So let's start off with picking the ones out that we actually need. And they just jump out. One key feature that you might want to use is plugging a USB cable like this that's included into the power supply unit and plug this into your PC and you have some very good information that you can read from the power supply unit. This is something you don't see often, cable combs. And these are nicely braided cables as well. The motherboard power cable, very nice with this braided action going on here. This is the cable most people will use with this power supply unit because it will just plug right into the USB slot on your motherboard. And this will plug right in here. Just like that. And here's the main star of the hour, the new PCI Gen 5.0 cables. This one cable will handle 600 watts to your GPU. The 40 series by NVIDIA takes the standard and this 1300 watt 80 plus platinum power supply unit comes with two because hey, maybe you have two 4090s you're trying to power. It can handle that. And no, you wouldn't really use two GPUs for gaming, but for video editing and DaVinci Resolve, the more GPUs you have, the more time savings you're going to experience. When installing your power supply, you want to really think about the direction that you want your power supply to be installed in. Now, this PC case is nice because we'll be able to see the beautiful PSU that we have right here through this opening. Um, but many PC cases, you won't be able to see it at all because it'll be in the back or something like that. This one we definitely want displayed. Another thing to think about is where do you want the fan? Because do you want the fan to be upward? And there's a plus and minus to that, depending on the type of case that you have. Some cases it can be installed like this or like that or wherever. For this case, we have the option of up or down. Now, luckily when it comes to the logo, it's just Meg like that or MSI like that. So either we're going to get Meg or MSI. Actually, do these come off? They come off. Look at that. We can actually change things around if we want. That's pretty darn cool. All right, go MSI. Look at that. So that's 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 a nice feature. What about this? Hey, even this comes off. Ha! They thought of everything. Now, a downside to having the fans on the upward side. Let's say we uh, drop a little screw down into the power supply unit. That's not the best thing at all. And other things can potentially fall into there as well. Uh, not to mention a little bit of dust, you know, over time, because this is a 1300 watt 80 plus platinum power supply unit. So it's only, the fan's only gonna kick on when it hits about 55% load or 70 degrees Celsius. At 1300 watts, that's gonna take a lot of power for this PC to even get this fan to spin. So if you put the fan downward like this, now, the downside of that is all the text here is now upside down, which is not really a big downside because I actually like to have my thumb to be able to press the very hard, difficult, you know, the, the switch thing, the lever in order to push and pull the cables in and out for the, the thick boys. These down here, they're on the other side. So I don't mind my pointer finger, but the big ones, that's, that's kind of tough. So I do like to use my thumb for that to push downward. And then we want to understand exactly where all of the ports are. So we have our PCI Gen 5.0 or the 12 volt, you know, one right here in the bottom left hand or right hand corner, depending on where you are. So as we slide this in, we just want to make sure we know exactly where all the ports are. And now we can screw this on. Now that the backplate is installed, we can just do a test fit. 
just to make sure we got everything the way we want that fits nicely. So our data cable, we know we want this. This is gonna plug in right here. And then this end is going to plug right into the USB slot on the bottom of the motherboard right here. If you have a free slot. And if you don't have a free slot, because I have other things plugged into mine, that's where this cable comes into play. And I'm sure we can find a fun way to route it to plug right into the back of the motherboard right here. C cable management, it'll be fine. And of course, if I we found this on the web. Now we have this slit in here, we can just secure the PSU, couple of screws. Make sure you read your motherboard manual because you wanna make sure you have all the proper places plugged in. So for this one, this is the MSI Meg X670E ACE motherboard, and it does have two CPU plugs right here. The motherboard plug is right here, and there's actually an additional plug right here if your case supported uh, 60 watt power delivery, which this one does not. Let's go ahead and plug in the 4090, and we have our cable for the 4090 right here. When you hear that snap, it's in all the way. The nice thing about this MSI Meg AI 1300P power supply unit, they actually do include cable combs as well. So we can spend some time tidying up all this loose mess right here. And you just slide these on in. It'll take some time, but it's worth it. And here we have the cable combs on the CPU cables, the motherboard cable. Obviously we have the 4090 and then the MSI Meg AI 1300P PCI Gen 5.0 ATX 3.0 power supply unit looks spectacular. Now that the MSI Meg AI 1300P is actually installed, we have MSI Center up and running, and we can see the PSU efficiency, the output wattage, all while we're running TimeSpy. And it even shows up in Hardware Info 64, and it looks like the 7950X and RTX 4090 here is topping out at just about 600 watts. So that's almost peak efficiency right there for a 1300 watt PSU. And as this is ATX 3.0 already, it can handle up to two times the total power excursions or three times the GPU power excursions. MSI gave us the full package with this Meg AI 1300P. You get braided cables and cable cones, 1300 watts, 80 plus platinum certified, ATX 3.0 compatible, PCI Gen 5.0, and with the data cable, you can see everything in Hardware Info 64 or MSI Center. This is a win. Oh, and it, it looks great.